Islam essentially is for a people of intellect. The Quran basically is a call to reason. So in that sense, there is no place for blind faith in Islam. But we do believe in the unseen. Blind faith and belief in the unseen, these are two different things. Here's why. The human intellect by its very nature transcends itself. It goes beyond its capacity. It goes beyond the data that is provided to it. As it recognizes that there are levels of reality that lie outside the realm of senses. So let me give you an example. You're in a room and you've been told that you're alone in the building. You hear voices in the next room. You see footmarks uh, when you go outside in the corridor. You hear footsteps. You infer based on your sense data that there is someone next, next door, right? So this is something that shows how you've gone beyond yourself. You've inferred something which belongs to the unseen. You didn't see anyone there. So this is going beyond your sense data. This is in a simple way to describe how the intellect works. It leaps into the dark. It goes from the known to the unknown, from the seen to the unseen. And you're justified to do so. Similarly, from a Quranic perspective, we are told to deeply reflect on the physical world. The intellect then takes us to the threshold of faith. When we believe, when we infer that there has to be an all powerful creator behind all of this complexity that we see. And again, we see that the intellect has taken us from the seen to the unseen, from the known to the unknown. So now that we have reasonably believed that there has to be an all powerful creator behind all of this, the one who has put very precise laws in nature, physical laws that govern the physical world, for somebody like that, all powerful creator to break those laws whenever he wants is not a big deal so hence from this rationale to accept supernatural events which we call miracles is not very far-fetched somebody who puts in place the laws has all the freedom and all the power in the universe to break those laws right so this was the rationale that traditional Muslim scholars used to understand the reality of prophetic miracles in Islam. You start with a healthy intellect that reasons, infers the existence of an all-powerful creator, and it is perfectly within the domain of an all-powerful free creator to place laws within the universe and then to break those laws whenever he wants. So in that sense, miracles were rationally grounded uh, in the Islamic tradition.